Hi there, Yogi, Virendra Yogi, trying to define myself as a true servant of the mankind. Silence and modesty and humility, integrity, honesty and abundance of affection and love towards every species of the world. He press best to love best. All things both great and small. For the dear God who made us, he made and loved all beloved friends. This world is troubling today. Terrorism, hatred, jealousy, cynicism, anger and greed has really uprooted the entire beauty of the mind and soul of the billions of people all around us. There are few select who are really wise, who are really following the path of true justice, peace, love and non-violence. And they are really creating problem for themselves. Because you know, we are what we think. All that we are arises with our thought, with the thought we make our world. Thought in the mind has made us. What we are by thought was wrought and built. And if a man's mind has evil thought, pain comes to him as comes the wheel behind the ox. If a man's mind dwells in the purity of thought, joy follows him as his own shadow. As my these beautiful pets, they follow me like my shadow. Faith, tell good morning to the viewers all around the world. These are my shadows. Another, you see that. Kazu, my shadow, because I love them and they are my shadow. Mongo the monster. How are you, Mongo? Mongo the monster. He is my wonderful friend who always helped me. Even leopard cannot try to come in this forest towards me. These loyal, honest and sincere beasts are my best friends. And this is only possible once I love them. So dear friends, there's a lot of lessons we can learn from everyone. Everyone. If you want to create a beautiful world around you, love everyone, respect everyone. But the first and foremost task is love yourself. Give yourself a great gift to yourself. That gift is a sound physical health, a positive mental attitude, harmonious relations with entire humanity and entire universe. Your mind is free from worries, anxieties, fret, depression, stress, strain, and all these nonsense which is called negative mental attitude. You are open-minded. You are engaged in a labor of love. You have tremendous belief and faith in yourself. You have complete self-discipline, self-control and balanced mind. You have always a definite purpose in your life. You are making alliance with the best brains, with tremendous capacity of applied faith, willing to go extra mile and attain all the great qualities which is required in a great human being. And then yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you will be a great man, my friend. And that is only possible if you follow certain trends in life. I, being a yoga student, I want to share with you the yoga techniques which can really control your mind by meditation. And once you have got the full position of your own mind, you have absolute right to take full position of everything on this planet Earth. As my best friend, and do Carnegie. Come on, arise, awake, and stop, not till the goal is raised. You will astonish what is yoga. Yoga is basically doing a lot of postures so that your body is very strong, flexible, and supple, and you have a very sound system which is operating in your body, respiratory system, nervous system, circulatory system, digestive system, reproductive system, Excretory systems, escultural systems, every system is in perfect harmony. And as you are giving them toning by postures, that is, flexibility is developed by different twists and turns of your every limbs of your body. You not only make your joints very flexible, but you make your body also strong. Your bones become strong, your body becomes strong, you develop tremendous energy. Because whatever food you have eaten that is burning sufficiently with the abundance of the oxygen which you are breathing 
forcibly by pranayama and the heart is pumping the pure blood with lot of oxygen and nutrition to every cell of your body and you are becoming stronger, enthusiastic, energetic, fresh. Not only that, if you have learned the way of yoga, you will never do evils. And you have not done anything wrong, you will never be punished for that. Because the law of the universe is always operating. No deviants can be happy and no follower can suffer any time. There is called law of absolute cause and effect, law of karma, law of compensation, laws of sowing and reaping. This yogi, Virendra yogi, always believe in this fundamental principle of karma. I always do good and I always I reap the harvest of my good doing. Beloved friends, what I suggest to you, embrace yoga as a way of life. This yoga has nothing to do with age. Anybody can do yoga. Yoga is also nothing to do with Yeah, yoga is also nothing to do with caste, creed, race, religion, anything else. Yoga is for everyone, for all of us. And there are different ways of doing yoga. Different postures. But one of the most important is salutation of the sun. Early in the morning, with empty stomach, in the beautiful nature as I am here. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, my friend. So that is a beautiful place. So embrace yoga. Your all system become perfect. Your mind become absolutely in your control. What more better than that? Because mind is an intricate and accurate machine if you have taken full position. You have empowered yourself to take full position of the world. Health, wealth, name, fame, peace, prosperity, joy will be kissing your feet. May God bless you. Embrace yoga. And it is very simple. You have to do regularly in the empty stomach, in the beautiful environment. And when you are doing yoga, your mind and body need to be connected together. Whatever you are doing, your mind should know what the body is doing. Because mind is really the master of all the limbs of your body. And your intelligence and wisdom is really commanding your mind and body. So if you exactly have become intelligent and learned wisdom from all the great sages, your mind will cooperate with you. Otherwise, if you don't control your mind, it will be like the jungle where you see what you see here. There's nothing like planning. Everything is dirt and everything has come. So plant your mind with noble thoughts. The first thought is love yourself. Do regular postures, meditation and pranayama. May God bless you. May Lord bless you. May bless you your God, whatever God is yours, Allah. These are narrow-minded people. They believe in somebody in Allah, somebody in God, somebody in Ishwar, somebody in Bhagwan, somebody is Buddha, but I being enlightened one. I only believe in love, cause and effect. Because you are the master of your fate and you are alone the captain of your soul. Nobody is responsible for your life. Otherwise, tell me what harm the cattle have done in the forest. Every lion will go to eat some dozens of animals who are innocent. What wrong that has done? Tell me. Leopard, hyenas, all these carnivorous animals will eat all the innocent life. Where is God here? Where is Allah here? What wrong he has done? That is natural law, survival of the fittest. The stronger alone will survive. And the weaker will become victims of the powerful, any creature. Make yourself very strong if you want to survive. And the starting point is with positive mental attitude, very strong thoughts, very strong mind. But world is civilized today. We also become a powerful force to make the world more civilized, more rational. Where there is nothing like physical brutality of lions, animals and hyenas. In the society, everyone has right to live a civilized world. Sisters and brothers is our equal from Vedanta and Upanishad. I am Nija Parobeti Ganna Lagu Chetram. Udar Charitanam Vasudev Kudumbakam. Sisters and brothers of America. 
and I say disciple of Vivekananda myself, sisters and brothers of the entire earth, arise awake and stop not till you have become physically very strong, mentally very pure and spiritually not less than all the prophets. You become what you think about. You are alone the master of your fate and captain of your soul. You are literally what you think. All that you are arises with your thinking. Think good. Think nice. Think everything what you think. Enjoy everything what God has given you. Food, clothes, men and women. Enjoy each other. Have as much sex as you want. Have as much varieties of food as you want to eat. But be always balanced in mind. Not too much, not too less. Not too hot, not too cold. Middle path. Balancing, balancing is yoga. Physical balance, mental balance, spiritual balance. That's why Rig Veda, ancient knowledge treasure house says, Sam gachadvam, sam badadvam. <coughs> sam gachadvam, sam badadvam. Samu manasi janatam deva bhagam yatha purve sanja nana upasate. The meaning is, can we move in harmony? Can we speak in unison? Can we keep our mind in equilibrium and equanimous throughout, right from the beginning to the end? And can we perform our task, which is always secret? with perfection, with divinity reflection in it. Thank you very much for being a seeker. What you seek, that you find. What you know, that opens to you. And what you ask, it will answer. Thank you very much for watching this.